Hi there, this is Pamela Coey, and I'm just really excited to let you know that I'm just about ready to open my solo exhibition at the Moscow Contemporary. A uh, little history behind the show, it's been planned since 2018 when I had my studio at the Rocky Mountain Grange, and it's been postponed twice. So it's supposed to happen in 2020, got postponed, and then 2021, got postponed. So this year, 2022, is actually going to happen, and all of my work is there. It's being installed at the moment. And let me just show you the space because it's really beautiful. But keep in mind, when I took this video, it was back in 2018. And at that time, it was uh, this gallery was aligned with the University of Idaho's Pritchard Gallery. So the signage on the window says Pritchard Gallery. But actually, uh, during COVID, the University of Idaho split from this gallery and now the gallery is called the Moscow Contemporary. So let me show you this space. It's really awesome and really huge and really lovely. I hope you enjoy it. I wanted to let you know that I did take a look at the gallery back in January of 2018 and this is just really an important thing to do to get a feel for the space and um, my husband and I had just been visiting our son in Portland and we were driving back so we went through Idaho uh, specifically to check out the space. So I had submitted a proposal probably about a year after Simply Not. Um, so the, the exhibition at the Holter Museum had ended. I had the catalog and then I used the catalog to propose to other places and the Pritchard Gallery uh, said yes. So one thing that I like to do is get a feel for the space. So I asked for the floor plan and I've had that now for uh, ever since I visited the gallery and uh, this particular exhibit is by Jerry Saylor. Really just enjoyed seeing installation. I love installation. Um, this is when you have 3D work and a lot of times it can be very uh, involved to display it, to hang it. There's fishing line that goes to the ceiling. There's such interesting light coming in through the window and it makes these wonderful shadow patterns on the wall. So the first thing that ran through my head was installation. I actually was thinking, wow, what a great space for that. But I really wanted to emphasize my painting. So as much as I love the shadows, as much as I was inspired by this work here, I feel like I need to really focus in on just the 2D work. So maybe this will not be the time when I have any installation elements. It's just such an interesting feeling when you're in a space like this and, and you can get a floor plan emailed to you, but it's not the same as actually going to visit the, the gallery or the uh, exhibition space where you're gonna be showing. Everything from the lighting to the way sound echoes around when you're walking on the floor uh, these ceilings happen to be extremely high on one side and then they came way down. If I hadn't visited the this gallery space, I don't think I really would have realized that by looking at the floor plan. And then you go up the stairs and there are two additional little galleries up there. Um, just seeing that there's so much potential here to uh, have you know the large body of work on the main level, but then go upstairs and perhaps have some more intimate groupings of work. Um, and this also plays into whether, you know, you might have a little group of paintings that maybe they don't feel as cohesive with the rest of your show, but when you can separate them and have them kind of just in their own little area, it definitely works. So this is one of the two smaller spaces upstairs, but as you can see, they kind of have all these ways that you can have things sitting on either a pedestal or a shelf, and then those lights are all movable so you can you know, dim the lights, you can have them bright, you can focus in on something. It's just so much fun to be able to uh, see all that the space has to offer. The title of the show is called Unforeseen, and it took me a long time to come up with the title of the show. Like any artist, I had a lot of possibilities, but the more I thought about it, it was the four-year period between 2018 and 2022 that I thought of all the things that happened in my life and your life and around the world that were simply unforeseen. And it's also a metaphor for life in general. Everything that happens, we never know what's around the corner, whether it's going to be good or bad, easy or rough. And we go through all of these things. And that's what really informed me in my work for this show. So in preparation for this Moscow Contemporary solo exhibition, I showed you already how I had taken a trip to the gallery itself. I grabbed the floor plan and then came home and quickly made a two-scale model. 
I found that to be really, really helpful to be able to envision not only the space, but I was able to figure out how much work I could fit, how much space would be in between, how many large pieces versus small. And I also had two small galleries upstairs. I decided to dedicate one of the galleries upstairs to this amazing project that I did with my pro members. I've really gotten to know many of these artists so well. Well, before that launch, we did a snail mail project and I've been showing you bits and pieces on my YouTube channel. And they're gonna be part of my unforeseen exhibition. And I'm really excited because I think that each piece captures a little bit of each artist and then you know the materials they sent me which ranged from colorful swatches to personal letters and notes and you know descriptions of why they sent me the swatches so it was kind of like uh, at first I wanted to create one really large piece but then as time went on I realized that I didn't want to dilute that sentimental feeling I felt as I opened each letter and some were personal and, and you know some were uh, humorous but many just were so much fun to read and then many of the letters themselves became part of each work. In the second room I decided to have a video component. All of you who've tuned in on my YouTube channel have been a really big part of my last four years. In fact I started my YouTube channel four years ago. So every piece that is in this exhibition is something that I also want to thank you guys in my YouTube audience because a lot of it was documented right here on YouTube. YouTube became my place to uh, keep a record of what I was thinking, what I was doing, when I was doing it, and a lot of the pieces in Unforeseen are actually uh, documented right here on my YouTube channel, so I'll be very excited to share that with anyone who wants to come to Moscow, Idaho. That's where the gallery is located. It is not lost on me how important your support your encouragement and just tuning into my channel has meant to me. I also realized how important it is to just document my work and then, you know, share it with others. And I feel like all of us artists are kind of in the same boat. And it's it's been as amazing for me to get feedback from you and, and see your comments and just interact with you. It's meant so much to me that I thought, well, uh, in one of these galleries upstairs, I'm just going to play some of these videos and share it as part of my exhibition to let everybody know how important this connection has been for me, especially during this isolation during COVID. I also have a full color catalog that is going to be available at the gallery during the opening on October 7th, 2022, and it runs through December 31st. 2022 so you can grab a catalog if you like and if you want you can even get a discount if you order from the gallery which is moscowcontemporary.org and you can get a discount by just putting in the word unforeseen in the coupon code and you'll get a nice little discount so as far as my catalog goes and if you ever put together a catalog uh, it's a lot of fun but it's also you know kind of a big job and uh, I want to thank Michael Wilder, who actually is a master photographer and uh, printmaker, who helped me to uh, create this catalog. And uh, you have to choose the type of paper that you want. There's so many different types of papers and weights. And then, of course, you have to curate the work and decide what your title is, decide what's going on your cover. And I chose uh, this painting called Circus. It's actually kind of a close-up um, of the actual painting. And there are 52 full color pages. Um, and I just wanted to show you that this is the kind of thing that it took me about a month and a half to put together. And these are all proofs. So in other words, you have to make sure the color is as accurate as possible. So that's a lot of like printing it out and checking the color, checking the value, checking if it's light or dark. And you know, the colors can really vary when you convert into digital. So these were all the proofs um, that I went through in this process. And it was just a lot of fun because you learn so much by doing this. And I want to just quickly show you the, um, the final catalog, which I just got the copy um, sent to me. And here it is. So uh, for anybody who's interested, these will be for sale at the Moscow Contemporary Gallery between October 7th and December 31st. And again, there's a coupon code. It's unforeseen. If you just go to Moscow Contemporary, 
www.cattlefarmsoftware.org. And I hope you enjoy the catalog. Um, I'm really excited about it. I did do another catalog several years ago and found the whole experience to be memorable and really happy I did it because it's a way of documenting uh, what you do. And just keep in mind, if you do place an order, you really help the nonprofit Gallery Moscow Contemporary to continue to curate wonderful shows and exhibitions. And you also help me to continue to create my art. All of my work that's in the show, plus a few extra pieces that are not. And as you know, I work in four different mediums. This particular exhibition has paintings that are in oil and cold wax, acrylic, mixed media, and also encaustic. I don't have any monotypes in this exhibition, but I'm very excited to uh, attend this exhibition and welcome anybody that wants to come out and visit me or the show. And I want to thank you guys in my YouTube audience for being so supportive because you're all part of the reason why I was able to make this happen. Uh, love your encouragement and your support. So thanks very much.